This is a moment Kathy Griffin says she thought would never happen again. Behold. I, I know you've done this before, behold. but still, this is a, something to There's behold. nothing like it, honestly. Uh, I'm not a religious person. I call it the church. Performing for a sold-out crowd at Carnegie Hall, this cathedral of classical music is about to host a comedy comeback. So we sold those even? Yeah. Oh, sweet. But just a year ago... Outrage from all sides after that video of comedian Kathy Griffin. Kathy Griffin in that image. Nobody wants to see this. It wasn't fine. It didn't work. Griffin's career was teetering on the edge of ruin. Did you think your career was over? Yeah. I thought there was a really good chance my career was over. This picture posted to the TMZ website of Kathy Griffin holding a mock severed head of President Donald Trump stirred a national scandal. The comedian called a traitor, even a terrorist. What were you thinking? Really? Just, can't you have a different question that I've been asked for a year and a half? You're ABC. What, Act like it, goddamn. That's the exact question you get every time? <laughs> what were you thinking? Yes! What were you thinking? See, I wanted to shame him. It, as I refer to Trump, it. I wanted to shame it. Um, I don't believe it's human. And believe it or not, I'm not a Megyn Kelly fan, but I do remember him saying famously, as you do, there was blood coming out of her eyes, blood coming out of her wherever. And I was doing a wacky photo shoot, and I thought, all right, let's get, you know, a Halloween Trump mask, put a bunch of ketchup on it, and see if he likes it when there's blood coming out of his wherever. Kathy Griffin in a storm of controversy. I think it's disgusting and reprehensible. Is her career ruined? I mean, what happens next? Within hours of the picture going public, a torrent of backlash. Left, right, and center turned on me. Everyone turned on me. Donald Trump Jr. tweeting, disgusting but not surprising, this is the left today. And the president saying, Kathy Griffin should be ashamed of herself. My children, especially my 11-year-old son, Barron, are having a hard time with this. Sick. She was skewered on both sides of the aisle. Chelsea Clinton tweeting, this is vile and wrong. It is never funny to joke about killing a president. You didn't think that was going to cause any uh, consternation when you did it? No, of course really? not. I was holding a mask, a Halloween mask with ketchup on it. How is it not an invocation of violence? It's a photo. Have you seen the cover of Der Spiegel? Have you seen any of the famous, iconic covers of magazines, you could take any one of them and accuse of them of inciting violence. Also, I'm Kathy Griffin, the comedian. I'm not an elected. It's me. Does and that mean there are no lines for you? There's no lines for me. Others saw it differently, believing that Griffin had crossed a line. She lost sponsorship deals, her entire tour was canceled, and CNN terminated her contract to host New Year's Eve. Her co-host and friend, Anderson Cooper, tweeting, For the record, I'm appalled by the photo shoot Kathy Griffin took part in. It's clearly disgusting and completely inappropriate. And I don't even have a punchline for that one because that one just hurt. My punchline is this, ouch. She says she received brutal and detailed death threats and was even placed under a temporary federal investigation. I was on the no-fly list. Um, I'm still on the Interpol list. I had to go overseas to make a living. I was detained at every single airport. They take your passport, they take your devices, they leave you alone in a room, and you don't know what's gonna happen and you can't ask. You had friends who told you uh, just go away for years. Yeah, it was great. Sharon Stone, who I love, goes, leave the country for eight years. I go, you leave the country for eight years. I go, I have to make a living. Wait a minute, I've got bills to pay. She would issue this apology video posted to Twitter. I sincerely apologize. I am just now seeing the reaction of these images. I'm a comic. I crossed the line. I moved the line, then I cross it. I went way too far. But months later, Griffin would retract the apology, calling the fallout faux outrage. I realized the outrage and the, the pearl clutching really was I know you're no fan of his son, Don Jr., but he did raise a point. He said, what if somebody had done this to Obama? Do you think that that comedian would have received the same kind of Dan, ire if not did you do any research? Do? Are you going to really act like you, don't, you didn't see the eight years of all that crap on Facebook with everybody's racist uncle sending somebody a picture of Obama being lynched. But it, like, we I'm didn't have a prominent comedian hold up a mock severed head of the president. And if there had been, I think it's a fair question to ask, what would the response have been? Well, first of all, Barack Obama never gave anyone a reason to hold up a photo like that. The things that Donald Trump is saying, I mean, remember the Access Hollywood bus? Barack Obama was clean as a whistle. People just didn't like that he was black. Should there be any limits on what you can say as a comedian? Well, as you know, there are laws. You can't yell fire in a theater. 
But one thing I just really want to say that's important is I want you to know I didn't break the law. I didn't do anything wrong. That photo is very much covered by the First Amendment. Throughout her career, Griffin has turned her personal turmoil into a serious edge, gaining notoriety for her off-color jokes on stage, a perpetual outsider fighting her way into the predominantly male world of comedians, Kathy Griffin became a household name in her show, My Life on the D-List. You know how you get to Carnegie Hall? You the guy that went home. How many new cities today? You're announcing uh, 11 new cities today. Good. It's a good little run of shows. Now, a year after the photo shoot scandal, Griffin is proving once again that she will not go down without a fight. My whole point of my uh, Kathy Griffin laugh your head off tour is obviously I'm very much leaning into the photo. I'm not acting like the elephant in the room isn't there <laughs> going because it is. Um, but also, it's a hell of a story. After testing the waters overseas last fall, performing in 15 countries, she is on her way on this morning to The View to promote the U.S. portion of her comedy tour. You'll be two segments, and we won't even. We wouldn't he said even... maybe not two. Are uh, you ready for a check? Uh, guess what? Give us a count. One, two, three, four. She caused an uproar and made some powerful enemies. Please welcome back the fabulous Kathy Griffin. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, a, I'm alive. I'm just glad to be alive. <laughs> it was. A, it, I can't believe it's been a year since I this. Know. It's, it's a year this month that that picture was released. Right. And um, we already described. What a year it's the, been. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I take the apology back. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me, everybody. Kathy Griffin, living legend. I'm just a person. No one. No one cares. And outside Radio City Music Hall, neither friend nice. nor foe was safe. All right, let's see how long till someone notices. Get it? It's me. Take a picture. Don't be okay. Come on. Amazing. Well, get, one, get in it. Yes. Fantastic. Hello. Oh, my god. We're selfie. Yeah. Why not? This never <laughs> happens. Oh, no. Oh, no. Check out this exchange with a couple who appear to be Trump and supporters. Unplanned. Hi. Oh, I don't believe you. Oh, really? You love Trump? Let's talk about it. How much do you love Trump? Why do you, why do you want to talk, come up to me and talk about Trump? What do you love about him? His policies? You think he's going to give you a tax cut, lady? You're a woman. Let me guess, you held your nose because he grabs hey, and that's okay hey, with hey, you? Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. hey I, relax, relax. Look at this guy. Start with me. She, he, she walks by. She goes, I love Trump. I'll pick his butt. Thank you, sir. Right. You are an angel from oh, heaven. Can we get a photo media and get out Let's of here? Let's do it. I think most people in this country agree that one of the biggest problems we're facing is just a coarsening of our discourse. We have trouble even agreeing on a basic set of facts. Do you have any compunction about, or do you feel that you are a part of that problem? No, I don't. <laughs> are you nuts? I'm the solution, baby. I deal in facts. This is a whole new world, honey. You guys got to realize it's different now. And I understand what you're saying about discourse and we should all be able to reach across the aisle. The other team doesn't do that. So the Michelle Obama strategy of they go low, we go high, you think unrealistic? I think it's great for most of the world. But as I say in my act, I love Michelle Obama, and I think it's great that she goes high, and I think most people should go high. I personally am very comfortable down in the mud. You know what? Get the door, Don. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The last time I checked, I. Okay, still sorry, a girl. sorry. I know, but well, we've been talking about the. the switcheroo, right? We've been talking about the decline in civility, and that was, that was an example right That's there. That's right, you were uncivil. The same yeah, incivility right, that so made her gonna... famous about to light up New York City's Carnegie Hall to a sold-out crowd. Do you get nervous? No. I get excited. So oh, it, I would imagine you've had, you had moments where you... Can you imagine you... if you had talent and then you could do something like this someday? Mm -hmm. oh, God, this interview is not going well. Keep dreaming. I have two Emmys and a Grammy, honey. I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records. When I kick the bucket, I want some young female comic or some younger person of color or younger gay person to go, hey, remember that 57-year-old bird? She didn't let him take him down. I just won't go down. Ladies and gentlemen, For Nightline, this is Dan Harris in New York City. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.